Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you five tips on how to reach your self-publishing goals. If that sounds good to you, then stick around. Hello, my name is Mari Suggs and I am a writer and author of five self-published books. And on this channel, I talk about writing and publishing and how to navigate it all with a positive mindset. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button now and that you hit the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload. I know that a lot of you are in the process of writing a novel and maybe you've decided that self-publishing is the way to go, but you're kind of stuck as to what it is that you need to do and what are the steps that you need to take or even how to get to that final place where you're holding your precious book in your hand. That's why I keep creating videos on self-publishing. I just created a series on how to self-publish your book, the 10 steps needed to self-publish your book. So make sure you check that out. I will leave it in the description box below and I will continue doing videos like this because I know they're so helpful. So the first thing that I recommend that you do is set a date for when you want to release your book. Let's say you are just starting a book now and it's a summer related, but you know that there's no way you're going to get all the things that need to be done for the book by this summer. Well, then set a date that you are going to publish that book by next summer. And the same thing goes if it's a fall book or um, if it's a winter book, whatever it is that you know your genre is going to do best in, make sure that you set a date for publication. That way you know that by this date, you will have not only the book in your hand, but you will have um, you will have some sort of idea of all the things that you need to do and how much time you have before you get to that date. The next thing I recommend is that you create a schedule of tasks that you have to complete in order to finish that book. For example, um, the first thing that you might have to do is obviously write and finish the book. The next thing you need to do is maybe find a critique partner if you don't already have one. Then you might need to cre um, create a task saying, I need to create find beta readers, I need to find an editor, and so on and so forth. So create a schedule of tasks of things that you need to do, plus make sure that you have a deadline by which you are going to um, finalize each task. For example, writing the novel. Give yourself however amount of time that you need, but make it realistic. If you're just starting a book now, is it realistic to say that you're going to have the book finished, completely finished in one month? Probably not, but you can definitely say, I will finish the first draft by the end of the month. You know, I'm going to give myself 30 days and maybe I can in 60 to 90 days, have the book ready to go to betas, right? So I don't know, I don't, it all depends on your writing style and how quickly you write and, and how comfortable you are. So whatever tasks you decide to do, that you feel that you need to do in order to get to that final step, make sure that not only do you make a list of tasks, but that you also write a date by which you plan on completing said tasks. The next thing I recommend is that you create a schedule for writing. Um, I know that for me, I'm more of a morning person when it comes to work, but when it comes to writing, I don't really have a set schedule. Like I write when I'm inspired, whenever it happens, but because I'm more awake and alert and I don't know, just have more energy during the day hours, I tend to write more during the day. Um, so it's whatever works for you. And though I am not a fan of rigid schedules, especially when it comes to writing, I do think that it's important that you, because you have a deadline, because you've already set a deadline of when you plan on publishing this book, you also set a deadline of when you want to finish your, your book. Oops, sorry, I just shook the table. So if you're in the first draft um, phase, then maybe you can say, I'm going to give myself 30 days to finish the first draft. And that means I'm going to write every day for an hour or I'm going to write every other day for an hour, whatever it is, do it and then stick to it because I think that's going to help you a lot in getting your goals accomplished. The next thing I recommend is that you find an accountability partner, whether that is actually a physical person that you know in your life that can help you stay accountable or you simply make a post on social media letting everybody know what it is that you're planning on doing 
something along the lines, I am going to finish the first draft of my novel in the next 30 days and you guys are my accountability partner and every day I'm gonna let you know how I'm doing. And then every day at a certain time, you update them, whether it's, you know, the morning of or the night, that night later on, you know, you post a, a post saying, today I wrote the hour that I said I was gonna write or I did really good, I wrote three chapters or I wrote 5,000 word, whatever, words, whatever it is that you decide to do, put it out in the world on social media if you don't have an accountability partner in person. So I think that really does go a long way. That helped me out a lot when I was writing the um, next book that I'm writing. I was updating everybody on social media how I was doing and if I didn't do it, it made me feel bad and guilty like oh my god people are going to be like wondering how I'm doing and I said I was gonna do it and, and it didn't come and I didn't share it so even if nobody was keeping track of what I was doing I felt as though they were and so it made me uh, stay accountable and so I shared it and so I worked more and that way I did finish the book that I said I was gonna finish in the amount of time I said I was gonna finish it and finally the last thing I recommend that you do is create a budget for all the things that are going to happen when you self-publish for instance let me just look down you have to create a budget for things like editing cover design formatting buying arcs buying your books um, then maybe conferences you want to attend and actual marketing so there's a lot that goes into self-publishing that you know as a self publisher you're going to have to spend some money doing all those things so creating a budget is going to help you also understand your timeline for instance if you know that you are writing a book that comes around Christmas and you know that Christmas is a time where you're going to actually spend a lot of money outside of your career and publishing world, then maybe you need to start saving a little more, a little more ahead of time so that you have all the money that you need by the time you need it. Or you could also push it to another time. You could push it to February or, you know, it, it all depends on the book that you're writing. But creating a budget is going to give you a clear understanding of how much money you need and how far you can take your book with the amount of money that you have saved up or the amount of money that you can invest into said book. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have published five books, so I have learned a few things along the way. And as I learn, I just wanna share those tips with you guys. Hopefully you found it helpful and inspiring. And if you did, make sure that you share it with all your writerly friends. Give the video a thumbs up because it does help my channel out a lot, as you guys probably already know. But also, if you would leave me a comment below letting me know if you have any tips when it comes to self-publishing. As you know, most of us are here are writers and we are self-publishing and any tips that you can offer is greatly appreciated. Remember to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys again in a new video in a few days. Until next time, stay safe.